There's no better way to begin this interview. Hey guys, Eric Goldman, Managing Editor of Fandom. I am joined by Amy. She's representing the Wiki communities. We are here with the creators and cast of Little Demon. Uh, I don't know, what's the backstory on Pee Pee Poo Poo? Or is You'll have to watch yeah, episode two. Ah, yeah. so yeah. I've seen episode Pee -pee. one. Yeah. <laughs> you can say it. It's an Easter. Pee -pee. <laughs> how how do y'all keep a straight face? Get your word. <laughs> we'll get in there. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Danny, Lucy, real life father and daughter. You're playing father and daughter here, except that uh, dad is Satan. Uh, can you talk about, was that just instantly appealing to you? Instantly appealing, yes. When Lucy uh, came to me with this idea uh, that her friends brought to her, uh, I said, this is a match, you know, I, in a minute. The part I was born to play. And, <laughs> and you know, to be, to be with Lucy in the, in the show is just the greatest. You know? Yeah, no, it was uh, when I saw that, uh, well, I know Darcy and Seth and Kieran, and uh, they uh, brought us the idea, and I was like, well, Danny should be Satan, and uh, I'll be the Antichrist. That's, that's perfect. It yeah. Is. It so is perfect. Makes sense. And then, Aubrey, you're my mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mommy. Mommy, you're my mom. You're my mom. <laughs> it all comes together. So for you guys, uh, where did this idea come from? We, I, it actually started uh, with the idea. We're all like horror nerds. So we wanted to do something in that genre. We like in the, you know we were thinking about Rosemary's Baby. I remember a lot. So it started with like the story of a woman and her cursed womb. Um, and then we started, uh, eight, no, then she was uh, pregnant with Antichrist and the Antichrist was born and then suddenly the Antichrist was a, a 13 year old girl and we were like, there's so much here with a, a mother-daughter relationship at that time. It's like so ripe for the horror genre. Um, and yeah, it's Satan. You got, a, you, got a, you got one great f the family. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hello Satan. Hello. So, I know that you were you were born to be the devil, but what what the wiki is wondering, as in the wiki that's gonna explode past all other wikis once your series is started, they're gonna wonder, did your role as Frank in It's Always Sunny help you prepare? I could be Satan. <laughs> well, you know, if you, you look at my uh, career uh, over the years, I've played uh, uh, quite a few uh, shady characters, <laughs> but you know, all all the with good intentions. And no matter what, and I, I feel like uh, as uh, farther and farther, deeper and deeper as you go, you know, uh, you start to come around the other side in, 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 in the character. And like what we have here is the nth degree of like evil. Yeah, I can sure. be, as, and, <laughs> but, and, and you know I mean the best for you, <laughs> always. You know that. So yeah. it goes without saying that a, I may be evil, but it's for the best. I am. I am, yeah. I am your. I am your evil. <laughs> Aubrey, for you, you know, uh, was this a, an easy yes when you're told uh, the pitch here? And uh, oh, so I hooked up with Danny DeVito, but he's Satan. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it hit right at home for me. Um, well, I've known these guys also for a really long time. I've known Seth since I was 12 years old. The one right behind me. Um, and these guys since I was 18, 19, something like that. So yeah, it was, it's like a family, like we're all like a family. So, um, but as far as the character, yeah, I mean, I relate to her a lot. She has terrible taste in men. And, um, and well, no, I, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I didn't mean it, wait a minute. That's not what I meant. Um, but no, I didn't want to play a mom, but they told me, you know, it's time. It's time for you to be a mom. So you're just going to have to assume that role and start, um, you know, um, bearing children. So that's what I did. If you, pl if you play a mom, either they're being uh, terrorized by Chucky or they are. Exactly. I'm only going to play mothers in uh, horror, that's uh, awesome. the horror genre. <laughs> I love that's it. That's it. That's, that's all you're going to get from me. If you're calling motherhood a rite of passage, then it has to be yeah. a that's demonic right. I either I either want my child to try to kill me or I want demons to come after and I want to protect my child from demons. <laughs> With a pitchfork. I see it right there. That's right. Uh, Mr. Harmon, how did you get involved in this? Uh, I think I'm in the wrong room. Where's the Rick, Rick and Morty <laughs> panel? <laughs> I don't, I, so this seems like a great idea for a show. I wish you guys the best of luck. I, I'm, this is so you? awkward. Yeah. I'm so sorry. 
Um, <laughs> these kids came to me, kids by kids, I mean anyone under 50, and they had uh, like the, this idea, and I was like, meh, and then they were like Danny DeVito, and I was like, hello. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. They, 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 I mean, that they, they, they was all part of the same package, but the, truly the thing that was the most striking to me was listening to these three um, talk about the the focus on the mother daughter relationship, which, as they pointed out, is it, it's it's been the focus of lots of attention, including in comedy. But when you get into like animation comedy for adults, especially like genre stuff, mm -hmm. how often do we you know focus on the mother daughter relationship that 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 axis, and how often do we ask the question like, can a family be broken? and then functional. Does it always have to be dysfunctional if it's broken, or Ozzy and Harriet, you know, to all, everybody together? Does it have to be a choice between that? Everybody, male or female, uh, uh, at 13 always feels like what's just happened is all of a sudden everything that they do is the most catastrophic thing. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and so that's another, uh, like, I, 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 exploring that age and doing, getting to do it in this huge metaphor. Plus, working with the penguin. Yes, all of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How is Christy's relationship with her sort of unconventional parents? Um, well, it's definitely a love-hate relationship. They need each other, but um, they are like really eager to um, branch out, and or Chrissy is e eager to branch out and be independent from her mother. And I think we've like established this household where it's just the two women living in it. And um, I think that when, you know, we age, you know, we start to get our, you know, um, wits about us and um, start fighting back, you know, or um, standing up for ourselves in ways that are good and bad. So, um, I think uh, like that relationship is really cool to um, to explore, and then her father is um, Satan, but he's basically a deadbeat dad. You know, he's like been <laughs> he's been away for you know I didn't even know he existed um, for, for thirteen years. Um, yeah. And uh, th one of my favorite um, lines in it is that. Uh, uh, Chrissy says to Laura, um, you said my dad was dead. And she said, I said not alive. Right. <laughs> you know, and um, like there's, um, I think that that itself is a, um, a really cool way to <laughs> look at w how their relationship is going to start building in the series. Yeah, you know, uh, Dan kind of alluded to the fact this is a, a show for adults and content wise, I've seen the first episode. Uh, Guys, don't hold back. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, just and this is really for anyone, the creators, but also for the cast. Just uh, from the start, were you just pretty excited that it's like, oh wow, we can we can just do it all on this show? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, we we traditionally were working like the live action space together before, mm -hmm. you know, which has like you know has a little more limitations in terms of where you can go, especially with big effects and gore. Yeah. And we were really really excited to be able to go all out with this show in that way because we love the juxtaposition between these like real like kind of soft emotional moments sometimes between our characters and like the, these these intimate relationships that we're establishing but then juxtaposing it to this extreme viscera that we see quite often so that was something we were really really excited to to do as we went into an, our first animated show together yeah, so yeah it's so easy to explode people in animation <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no I, I completely agree that like obviously there's a lot of time and effort that does go into of course like animating and 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 everyone puts incredible work into it but it is we did realize right from the start that this had to be an animated show because of the different worlds we're going to be going to um, and as you touched on like the there is some severe graphic nature um, to it but we love that we were able to continue to explore that but it's not just it's not just for the sake of just being gory it's that it actually does serve a purpose that there is like yeah. showing the power that this 13 year old has and right off the bat so it's it's been and sometimes it's just for just be like we we can we can keep going further and we should keep going further. It's just we've been super enjoyable. Yeah. Well, for you for the cast, yeah. When you were saying these scripts and seeing like uh, yeah, your character Aubrey, she has some bold moments. <laughs> where you just yes, like, I got to do full frontal nudity for the first time. <laughs> um, really excited about that. Sure, sure. Um, it only took an animated show, um, <laughs> but yeah, we get to do I, yeah. It's it's so much fun. Um, yeah, we get to we get to go crazy. For all the parents out there watching this, what's your best advice 
for loving parents who just want the best for their children, but their child happens to be a demon. <laughs> <laughs> from, my, from my point of view, I feel, like I, I feel like the best advice is to know what you want, stick to it, and uh, you know, have faith that one day your daughter will come around to you. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Just embrace the demon. Embrace the demon. Yeah, and um, you know, relate to the demon as you would relate, uh, in a, in a, as, a, as you would an angel. You know, <laughs> and if the demon gets in, gets gets is gonna be in trouble, then the person that is uh, is is trying to hurt that demon, you rip you yeah. rip out their throat like Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Aubrey, do you have any uh, advice for demon yeah, parents? Yeah, for, for parents of demons. Parents of demons. Yeah. Um, you know. Focus on yourself sometimes, you know? Mm -hmm. Self-care, um, yes, it's hard to raise a demon, and there's other demons coming for your demon, but um, do some yoga, take a nap, you know, take a load <laughs> off. Focus on yourself, because if, you, if you're not good, then, then you're not gonna be able to take care of your demon. Yeah. And that's and that's that's the advice I give to all mothers of demons: is put on a podcast, you know, smoke a little J, and <laughs> what's gonna happen is gonna happen. You know, some people get their heads exploded and die, and that's just gonna happen. that's life. Yeah, life. Life happens sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Um, besides pee pee poo poo, or maybe mostly pee pee poo, but uh, anything you can tease about things uh, this season that you're excited for the audience to see. Um, I would say one big thing is the guest stars, like the people that we have on for each episode is just, it's remarkable. The, the, the people that we've had on, I don't know if I can, can I say? I feel like there yeah. are some. Yes. yes. Yeah? <laughs> right, there was a press. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, like, it, we, it spans from like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dave Bautista, Lamorne Morris, Shangela, Sam Richardson. Um, the big one is Mel Brooks. We have Mel Brooks ah, on. Nice. Um, Michael it's Shannon. Just Michael, Michael Shannon, Shannon, of course. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it just spans. We've, we've been so, so lucky. Oh, Pamela Adlon. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just keeps going on. And Rhea June Diane Raphael. Oh, Rhea Rhea. Rhea. <laughs> oh what yeah. can you anything you say about oh, Rhea's baby. role? She's, uh, well, so Lennon Parnham uh, mm -hmm. plays, Parnum, sorry. Um, <laughs> she plays. Um, Go to your room. Sorry, Lennon. <laughs> yeah. bad she thing. plays Darlene the neighbor, and, um, and Rhea, Rhea's related to her. So this is gonna be kind of a, a tough oh. one for for any single woman. Pass. <laughs> you know, it's um, it's like is is this how you imagine Satan's baby mom would be like? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, this totally <laughs> she's badass. I mean, who's gonna have sex with Satan? Laura Feinberg. <laughs> like, immediately, like yeah, I think for sure. I mean, they're soulmates. It, for me, it's a love story. You know, yes, it's a will they won't they get together. But I mean, there's a reason that this happened. And Danny, yeah, take it easy. You, you <laughs> the chemistry is just through the roof, right? <laughs> yeah, like I need to move from my seat. <laughs> you sit right there no. and you watch. Yes. Dan, uh, I just wanted to, you'll, you'll confirm it for me right now, uh, community movie next summer, right? It's greenlit. It's com yeah, it's coming pretty quick. We're just in a, we, we, we're in a couple more talks with Netflix. We're going to see how many more episodes they can delete, and then we're going to use those to, <laughs> to make a movie. Oh, that's a very new way of doing it. Yeah. Uh, what, what were the Penguin's good intentions? Oh. Well, you said I, every, I, every character I was, Well, he like, what, what, what he uh, was very much going to uh, revamp the city. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Change <laughs> Gotham. <laughs> change it into like a workable yeah. uh, city for everyone. Yeah. The, 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 from the bottom to the top, none of this, you know, elitist bullshit <laughs> that was going on. And I was taking it and bringing it to the people and the penguins and the birds and the animals and everything like that. And of course, I was, you know, there were children involved, but we won't go there. <laughs> I, 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 now I'm watching the movie again and uh, Comic Con Touchdown for Danny DeVito. Look at that. Yeah. So Look at that. that. <laughs> he gets into his characters. Well, thank you so much, guys. Uh, Little Demon premieres Thursday, August 25th on FXX. Then it'll be on Hulu the next day. 
Pee pee poo poo. Thank you, Aubrey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be killed by Aubrey yeah, like, right now, but I, it's okay. I at least try to stay alive yes. until the premiere. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'll do my best. Thanks, guys. Oh, Thank you. Got yeah. closet. Bye. <laughs>